Hello and welcome to the Pixel Pentura workout where I color what you color and today we're going to be coloring something from Jersey B. Uh, this is a picture actually taken off apparently from a cell phone so I'm going to have to uh, adjust. I'm going to use a crop tool and adjust the crop tool, turn on perspective, get the little handlebars to align to the perspective of the object and once I press enter I straighten it up crop out anything else that I don't need. I'm going to also try to enlarge it so I can have a better resolution to paint with. Yep, that's, well that's bigger than the actual image. I'm going to size it up around 200. So I'm going to try fine. Uh, let me try not. Okay. Alright, so let's start off by making sense of this artwork. It's a landscape and it's got well, apparently two islands on the left and the right, some sort of cloud formation in the middle, a reflection of perhaps a light source on what seems to be water. And I'm going to try to make it a little more uh, easy to read. Taken off of a cell phone, add some texture using an overlay layer. Press that down give some texture to something that was really low resolution. So I add some small details. Usually I'd start big if I painted it myself. This works just kind of like working with what Juicy had in the first place. We can get straight down to the details. I'm still trying to figure out what all this is. All I'm pretty about, sure about is the mid-ground and some aspect of the sky. I'm not really sure what that thing up front is. Whether that's uh, a mountain in front. It doesn't make sense. Probably a beach. So I'm here just a uh, painting. Clouds. I'm working from a, uh, quite a distance from the artwork so that I can see the overall thing come into shape. I don't want to get caught up in the details so I keep it far away. I decided just probably to make some of those sky and some of those clouds. Give it some sort of direction. Most likely this was taken from a photo. I mean, it was referring to a photo. Let's make it up a bit. So, uh, as a painting, however, you've got some artistic license that you can actually apply. If I wanted the clouds to move lower left, upper right, I can do that, even if the reference doesn't say so. And besides, I don't have the reference. Here's me adding some uh, fog or some glaze there. We're uh, rippling in the water. So I formed those uh, mountains in the background that are almost blue, while the ones that are closer to us in the mid-ground working on some texture, receding some of the other uh, land masses into the distance by painting over some of the brighter colors. So a part of that uh, tells me you know, the light star seems to be coming from the center, but it doesn't make much sense. It would have to be a sunset. Maybe the sun would be in the middle. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it look readable. Yeah, I'm buying some Dodge. Because there is a light on the water. Or there has to be some light coming from above. Reflecting off of the water. I try to keep this as fast as possible so that uh, it can fit within 10, 10 or so minutes that YouTube allows us to put on. It has some of that contour of trees on top. The rest all rock, soil, and grass. Okay. Got some texture. Using a textured brush. Saves us some time. While it's not necessary, it does help to come across much more painterly. 
And I'm extending the shadows to follow what I've got on the sky. Adding some of that light bouncing off from the water into the mountains, the hills, or whatever you call them, the islands. Okay, so now up front, the foreground, I'm trying to work out what exactly are those things. I figure they're probably, you know, sand, and wave, and a little rock or something on the lower left. I'm adding a bit more rippling. Maybe gives it some depth. So I probably you can start seeing some difference with uh, what Juicy did and what I'm doing right now. Juicy would know the actual photo. And for all I know, my picture doesn't look anything like the photo anymore. So I'm just kind of interpreting it. Again. Water still feels kind of, you know, kind of too close. I guess that was probably my, mis my mistake when I finished uh, doing this. I should have put a glaze on the water as well. See if I can do something about some rippling effects. Squeezing down a brush to make it, you know, flat, and just applying it to add additional rippling. I feel that, you know, I, I did an extensive work on much of the piece, but trying to get that water to fade back, one of the harder things. So just trying out different things here to get it to go backwards. You could go further away from us because it felt too close. I don't know, and now it feels like a piece of glass, but. Well, I think I did a good enough job. Let's add some of that light using a color dodge layer. See what I can do with this thing. Uh, I think it's a mound of sand or rock or whatever, a fuzzy thing. If I can make it work with a composition, I'd rather it wasn't there. But since it's a, since it sticks out so much, I might as well keep it. It's probably something important, so I don't want to get rid of it. I'm trying to add some uh, frost to the surf. Thing using the chalk brush, something that looks textured, so it's easy to use and easy to apply some textures. If I use a round brush, uh, it would take a lot longer to put that frost. And some of that green underneath, just to show that there's some sand there. It isn't so clear where the light source is coming from, but if it were me, I'd probably say it was coming from the middle. Maybe the sun's just rising. However, the colors that uh, Juicy used in that were not exactly you know, sunrise colors. But who am I to say, right? So, may very well be a painting of a photograph and that photograph may have been exhibiting exactly the same colors that Jews used. I'm putting in some shadows just to accentuate the light is coming from the center. Also some rim light. A color change up there. Make more color on the tree. I don't know, maybe I made it kind of look cartoony. Here's me adding a few details. It doesn't seem to close. Okay, uh, too dark. I'll go clean it up. Uh, wash it out. Right, so if, uh, if you've got a particular artwork that you would like to see colored, because you colored it and you'd like to know how you could have improved, you could send it to us on our Facebook page, or you could just send it to me at uh, my email address. You can find it here on YouTube or you can find it on Facebook. It's what we call the Pixel Pintura Workout, where I color what you color. So we're almost done.
compare it to the original. Let's see what else can I can do. I kind of like what I did with the, the water and the, the waves. Add a bit more light back into there, just like what Juicy did. Okay, let's take a look at them side by side. All right, so basically that's it. Thank you very much. If you'd like to take up a workshop, visit pixelpintura.com.